Hey everybody, it's your friend and your guy and your favorite creator who makes faces in his thumbnails as if he's realizing just how truly awful his content really is, Gardner. <laughs> That's like the first funny comment that someone's actually made in a while. I need more funny comments. You guys are disappointing me right now. All right, so I have to admit something to you guys. Ever since I did the meme video a couple weeks back, I've been looking at Reddit. Uh, a little bit here, a little bit there kind of got the reddit bug again which is weird because reddit sucks now like reddit is terrible um i miss the old reddit <laughs> i think there's a way to get it back but i haven't done that but here's the thing i went on the linux subreddit and i saw a post it was called what is it called why i don't want more users to switch to linux and you know i re i saw that post and i said you know that's just the most wrong-headed thing that I've seen in a long time, and I wanted to respond to it. So let's talk about this. Let's talk about this post here on Reddit. Uh, this is from in, uh, you India you win on, on the Linux subreddit. This was posted two days ago as of recording this video. Our friend here says, it's right that if more people switch over to Linux, the more hardware and software compatibility we're gonna get. More software developers will make their software available for Linux and it will gain uh, in its user base and will get attention. That is a problem. As Linux is getting more friendly and compatible with everything, it's gaining more users. I don't want Linux to get too much attention like it's already getting. The attention is good, but it has several side effects. One of the major ones is people making malware and harmful software for Linux, which is obvious looking at its user base. Hold on. When people slowly learn that gaming and software usage work better on Linux than Windows, and it's free, they will start switching over here slowly. One of the best things about Linux as of now is that it doesn't require any antiviruses because almost no one makes viruses or malware for this platform. Why? Well, low user base for one reason. Another reason is that if you're a Linux user, then it's pretty obvious that you're more tech savvy than the average Windows or Mac user. As Linux provides more user friendly environment and compatibility for games, the noobs or less tech savvy users at some point in time are going to switch to it, which is self-explanatory why hackers and malware companies would start uh, targeting Linux platforms. Okay, but if that happens, there will be antivirus and security software for Linux too, right? Well, yes, but that kills the actual feel and usability of Linux. The major reason why I switched here from Windows is because I don't want to run bloatware slash spyware softwares that uh, promise to protect your computer, but just act as another layer of bloat that sits on your OS and makes other processes slower. Good luck turning off Windows Defender and its unstoppable updates. Linux is good without any antivirus or anti-malware that takes away your privacy, which takes away the whole purpose of Linux. Okay, so I got a couple thoughts here. The first thing is that for me, what's most important about Linux is not privacy, it's freedom. Uh, I have the, the ability to uh, install whatever software I want. There is actually open source antivirus software that you can get for Linux. It's called ClamAV, and it's actually deployed on a bunch of servers to actually find uh, malware that's being sent through to Windows clients. Uh, but it also can detect Linux malware. It's it's a great option. And if you have a problem, if you need uh, antivirus on Linux, because there are, is Linux malware out there, you can get Claim AV and it works pretty well. I, I guess the next question is, what are you even asking for in this post? I mean, the nice thing about Linux is that it just continues to get better and better with every release. And people can make whatever software they want for Linux, right? I mean, it's not the Linux kernel team that's developing Proton, it's Steam, it's Valve. So what are you even asking here? Are you asking for Linux to be less awesome? If you wanna use a less awesome version of Linux, use an old version of Linux. <laughs> I mean, are you asking for Linux kernel development to cease? Are you asking uh, like distros to stop making Linux accessible to normal people? I don't get it. I I'm just confused by this post completely. I don't know, let's move on. <laughs> I wanna take a minute and actually talk about uh, something else that he said. As Linux gains more desktop users, malware creators are going to make their malware for Linux. Um, there's already a ton of malware for Linux. There was even malware specifically built for GNOME. But the reason that malware is being created uh, for Linux 
isn't because there are new desktop Linux users. Linux is the most ubiquitous operating system in the entire world. If it's a phone, if it's a server, if it's an international space station, Linux is the most deployed piece of software in the world. The problem isn't that you're gonna have a bunch of noobs using Linux. That's not a problem at all. I mean, today, uh, it's Linux is more accessible to more people than ever before, I think. Uh, that's a good thing. The more people we have using Linux, the more it gets tested, the more robust it becomes. The more pr freedom that end users have, that's incredibly important. And most Linux distributions also, as a byproduct of the freedom that they afford their users, also afford their users a ton of extra privacy. That also is good. However, really the problem that we face is not malware coming to Linux, because I don't think that that's that big of a deal. You can harden distributions against malware, and a lot of the techniques that uh, malware uses on Windows just simply won't work on Linux. I mean, security is a first-class consideration in Linux, where security was hardly a concern of, of when Microsoft as they were doing uh, Windows NT. It's only become very recently that Microsoft has actually taken security seriously. So I guess the question is, is it a good thing or a bad thing that more people are using Linux today more than ever? Uh, I think that it's a good thing. Linux, like I said, provides uh, freedom and security and privacy to most of its users. And the more free, the more private, and the more secure the majority of people are, just by virtue of the software that they run on their computer, on their operating system, I think that that makes the world a better place. So you India, you win. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to disagree with you. I think that your Reddit post was kind of elitist and kind of the problem that we face <laughs> as, as the Linux community. The problem that we face isn't that noobs are coming over here. It's that the old guard are trying to keep new people away. All right, well, that's my video. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. I wanna thank WebFreak and the 115 other people who have supported this channel uh, on a monthly basis. I've now just rolled out annual subscriptions to my Patreon for the next two months. You'll be able to get uh, uh, a 16% discount, which is uh, two, basically two months off uh, of an annual subscription over there. So head over to Patreon, check that out uh, if you're so inclined. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody over there who continues to support the show. I wouldn't be able to do this without them. But I think that's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you believe in what I do, you can support the show by heading over to Patreon. You can pick up a t-shirt. There's links below. But no matter what you do, make sure you hit that like button and hit that share button uh, if you're so inclined. And also subscribe to see more from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a blessed day.